Frank J. Haynes, or the Professor, to most who knew him later in life, was born in Saline, Michigan on October 28, 1853. The family soon moved to Detroit, where he fostered an interest in photography while growing up in a large city. Haynes moved to Moorhead, Minnesota in 1876, where he then opened his first photography studio. With his new office, Haynes soon set the standard for documenting the seminal changes and new settlement taking place on the Northern Plains. As Haynes developed his photographic eye and grew a successful local business during the area's initial population boom, few photographic opportunities escaped his eye. He therefore began capturing historic images from across the Northern Plains, including still life pictures from a variety of agricultural, social, business, and cultural aspects. As a result, Haynes' work soon elevated many professional standards of 19th century photography. The following year, Haynes traveled 400 miles by stagecoach, photographing Dakota Territory, including work in Jamestown, Bismarck, and Fargo, North Dakota. Inspired by Fargo's rapid growth and growing reputation as the North's gateway to the West, Haynes captured a variety of detailed scenes throughout the town's settlement period during the 1870s and 1880s. He married Lillian V. Snyder on January the 15th, 1878. Within the same year, Haynes made a lengthy journey beyond the Plains Territories to the West Coast. Haynes corresponded on a regular basis with his wife, describing his travels in detail, while further sharpening his vision for a pictorial account of early Western settlement. Although many historical accounts credit Haynes as the first photographer in the Fargo-Moorhead area, Jacob Skurseth holds the distinction as the first professional photographer with a studio inside Fargo city limits. Still, both men opened their studios in 1879. Skurseth opened his studio in March. Haynes moved into his newly constructed Fargo studio at 725 Front Street two months later on May the 19th. Haynes was able to make gradual improvements to his studio as his shop grew into a successful business. At the same time, to avoid the limitations of conventional business construction of lumber and brick, Haynes converted a palace train car into a traveling photography studio and thereby raised his photographic standards to new heights. With an avant-garde and novel character, the exterior of his traveling car displayed lettered advertisements elaborately painted on the side. Haynes also outfitted the interior of the Pullman car with creative flair, complete with a fully functional darkroom and plush waiting area with a stove, carpeting, furniture, and upscale lighting fixtures. With his stylish mobile studio, Haynes photographed towns from Puget Sound to Chicago and much of the North Dakota Territory in between. The family even used the Haynes car for vacation travel between Fargo and Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. In 1881, Haynes made his first trip to Yellowstone Park, where he made a collection of stereoscopic views. Because he enjoyed working in Yellowstone so much, Haynes eventually opened a park concession studio to sell pictures to tourists. Haynes was also commissioned to take photographs of several historic occasions. First, when U.S. President Chester A. Arthur toured Yellowstone Park in 1883, Haynes was asked to take the pictures. When railroad workers drove the Golden Spike that linked the East and West Northern Pacific Railroads also in 1883, officials sought Haynes to take the photographs. He was then hired to become the official photographer of the Northern Pacific Railroad, even documenting the adventures of hunting parties which were sponsored by the railroad company. In 1889, Haynes moved his studio to St. Paul, Minnesota. He also continued his exploratory trips to Yellowstone and helped develop the park's large tourist business at the turn of the century. He passed away March 10, 1921 in St. Paul, but his early interpretations and historic visual legacy of Fargo and the Northern Plains live on through his photographic works. 
While many of Haynes' photographs have been widely published in articles, journals, and books throughout the 19th and 20th century, his personal papers, an extensive negative and print collection, are preserved at the Montana Historical Society. While the North Dakota State University Archives in Fargo, North Dakota, collectively houses over 180 of his photographic prints, stereographs, and 4x5 copy film negatives.